Here we are today with Patrice Conda of Tracy Lee's Makeup Artistry. Patrice, tell me a little bit about your business. Hi, I'm Patrice Lee Conda. As you just so said, of Tracy Lee's Makeup Artistry, I primarily do makeup for fashion shows, short film sets, and proms. Patrice, I was looking for a makeup artist to help me out with my fashion show and also my trunk shows. Is it harder to make up men or women? It's much more difficult to make up women than men. Men typically should look like men and so they shouldn't really look like they have makeup on. Like today for your shoot, I was able to bring much less makeup because I'm not doing a complete makeup application. I simply just want to balance out any skin discoloration and just make you look really matte and fresh for a photo shoot. For a woman, it's totally different. You're doing, you know, lashes sometimes. You're doing maybe glamour shoots sometimes. So you're doing foundation, you're doing concealer. You're doing a lot more difficult work for a woman than for a man, as it should be. You know, I was, I was concerned about that, and when you came over today to do my makeup, I thought as for shooting a video, I would be having a lot of makeup on, and I would feel all uh, sticky and things like that, but I, I, I didn't. And why is that? I mean, why do men have that fear? Well, makeup has changed a lot in the last 20 years. I mean, growing up, where maybe we had two, three top you know, products for people of African American color, it's not like that anymore. Makeup's gotten better, it's gotten lighter, it's, the, the quality has just gotten so much better. You can put on a ton of makeup and feel like you have none on. Whereas before, you know, 50 years ago, there was only pancake makeup and it was very heavy and sticky and it's just not like that. So in shooting videos, do you recommend that most people do get a makeup artist? I think they should. Um, you can always have the cameraman retouch, but retouching does cost a lot of money. So you can have a photo person, you know, photo photographer Photoshop and do all those things. But I would recommend having someone because they're always going to see something maybe that the photographer doesn't. What about the pricing? Um, lots, of, uh, lots of times people have a fear about that's just too, too expensive for me. Uh, how is that price? Every makeup artist price is completely different because I work full time and I'm a freelance makeup artist. My pricing is a little different because I'm probably not working. This isn't my sole source of income, so I'm able to really have a more relaxed, reduced rate versus someone who's doing this, this is their sole income, they're going to charge a much higher price. Now, compared to like a, a photo shoot or a, a shoot that you might take for an industry, like a movie, mm -hmm. um, does, it, does it sort of like vary? And can you just give me some idea what those prices might be? For me, I'm pretty standard. Um, if I'm just doing like a simple photo shoot, I would charge $50. For a wedding, I would charge you know fifty dollars you know per person, but I would want at least four people to work on for a wedding. And then for set work, especially since I'm going to be there all day, I would probably want a hundred dollars a day. But as I said, because this isn't my sole source of income, I can have more reduced prices. Those prices are very reasonable. Yes. Very reasonable. Patrice, I'd like to thank you for your time and your expertise and, um, and, and you really enlightened me up quite a bit. I really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Thank you for having me.